friends, uh, today I'm talking about connecting with our own self through silence. By silence, I don't mean to be speechless. It's the experience of stillness by spending some time in nature. So the topic today is nature, silence, and self-awareness. Sages teach not to identify with the person. The person is fiction. Identify with the awareness that gives us a conscious experience of everything. Many seekers try to identify with awareness. However, that doesn't seem to make a difference in how they perceive themselves. They say, I still feel the same about myself. I don't feel any different from being a person. Um, they say, in my perception, awareness does not reflect from myself. It is not clicking. We all understand that the purpose of human life is to discover the truth and remain as we are. But the searching for our reality seems to be a challenge. The ego remains at the front and the reality appears to be a mystery. How to make awareness practical? How to reach a state in which awareness remains at the front and the person masking the awareness recedes to the back? The only way to come to the consciousness mode is through paying attention to it. Reality unfolds with focused attention. Now the question arises, how do I attend to awareness? Where is awareness? What is it like? Awareness is omnipresent. It is not a thing that one could see, hear or touch. But listen, my friend, when awareness reveals it to an individual and that moment comes by the grace, they can see, hear, and touch the awareness also. That sounds unbelievable, but that's how a realized person perceives awareness. Awareness is all pervasive, like a current that is through every entity, and as an envelope that is around every entity, and it is so vibrant. How could somebody not perceive awareness? Think about what ego personality is experiencing in the present times. People are overstimulated with a constant need to achieve. Some people also overwork for meeting the expectations of family, friends, employers, and colleagues. Most people think they should remain busy all the time with work, study, sport, or working on their devices. They believe that it is essential to constantly monitor what's going on, engage with Twitter streams, watch television shows, and remain updated with other social media. Then there is advertising to watch as well. Who among us hasn't found it hard to break away from something on television um, or turn to Facebook, Twitter, or a newsfeed when we didn't want to do the work in front of us? Too much information overwhelms us and presents too many choices for anything we want to do. As a result, we judge the options to find the best. Often, in trying to simplify the issues, we tend to give precedence to opinions that reinforce what we already believe to be true. All that feeds into the ego personality and makes awareness even more distant. And it feels like it is unreachable. Perhaps we need to think about our media consumption the way uh, we would any other habit. Likewise, we need to think about paying attention to awareness the way we would any other project. We need to put aside the devices for some time and switch off the inflow of information to the mind. When seekers consciously create and maintain a practice of connecting with awareness, only then a real change occurs. Put aside some time every day to sit quietly, preferably in nature. Awareness is everywhere, but from my own experience, I tell you that nature is a better environment compared to a constructed environment like a room in your house. In nature, the energy field is strong 
as fewer thoughts and emotions exist. Plants don't have astral and mental bodies as humans have. Therefore, the natural environment has less turbulence. In my spiritual quest, I have spent hours sitting in the backyard of my house. There are loads of cosmic energy, Shakti, around every plant and in every tree. That's why you notice that when we are exhausted, going into nature works like a balm on the stressed body and mind. When you are in nature, sit with 100% presence. Sitting quiet means no television, no radio, no newspaper, no social media, no email or SMS. You will need to give yourself some opportunity to experience silence. Look, what is happening around you? Let's say you are in a park. Notice what sounds are happening in the environment. Do you hear birds chirping? Insects buzzing? Is there pollen floating? Are there any squirrels or any other creatures? Pay attention to whatever is present in the environment. Is the wind blowing? Do you hear any sound coming from outside of the park also? Are there any cars on the road? Uh, any human noises? Concentrate on the sound. Could you notice that every sound starts and then dissolves? Try to see where the sound comes from and into which it dissolves. Try to connect with the environment deeply. You will notice a silence present everywhere from which the sounds arise and into which they dissolve. As you pay attention to the silence, you will see that the silence becomes prominent in your perception. Silence dominates and the sounds become secondary. Pay attention to the quiet. Is it even more intense than all the noises you are perceiving? outside the body-mind and what you may perceive inside, such as your thoughts and emotions. It's quite possible that when you try to sit in silence, your internal environment becomes even more turbulent. You feel an intense need to use your phone to talk to someone or think about some household work or office duties. You may feel a sense of urgency to attend to some work. If you feel uncomfortable, then pray to quieten your mind. The grace of God and Guru will help you. Most people in the modern lifestyle are so trained on the constant distraction that it can feel a bit uncomfortable when you drop everything and sit quietly outside. You might head out to discover your truth, but you may feel anxiety about leaving all devices and activities aside. Pray to God to show the path, to be with you, to give you the strength to overcome the turbulence. Relax the body and look for a feeling of peace or inner relaxation. After a while, the mind gives up and it starts to quieten. Then stillness starts to come. Notice how your body feels sitting against the ground. You may close your eyes. Do you feel the sunshine against your closed eyes? Just watch, listen and observe how the silence unfolds in the environment around you. You find that the silence is underlying the diversity of forms, people, birds, grass, trees. There is stillness. Nature is the best way to learn stillness. The silence into which every sound dissolves is the way to become self-aware. We are stillness in our true nature. When the concentration improves, the silence will become prominent. 
and the sounds occurring become secondary. When you sit with full attention to nature, become mindful in that moment, be present in that moment and see only what's in front of you. Touch the leaves of the plants, touch a flower and the trunks of trees. Experience the stillness of the moment and physically and mentally connect with nature. Now, while you are watching the scene in the park, could you also perceive what is going on inside you? Are you thinking something? A thought came and then disappeared. Another thought came that also disappeared. Then another and another. Try to observe from where the thought comes and into which that disappears. Try the same method on your thoughts and feelings that you used for the plants and birds in the park. Is there a gap between thoughts? The gap between the thoughts is silent. The silent space between thoughts is inner stillness. It is beyond the person. It is free. That is the same silence from which you find everything arising and dissolving. The stillness is the underlying stratum of all entities, gross and subtle. You are the stillness. You are infinite and none other than the self. As the practice of connecting with the stillness grows, you can perceive the stillness underneath any noises you experience. Noises of the external environment in which you are working and the internal environment of thoughts and emotions that you are experiencing. Sage Ramana says, silence is the truth of our being. There is no moment when you are not still. Stillness is naturally here and that's your being. An individual who is absorbed in self remains in stillness wherever they go and whatever they do. They are in silence when they interact with someone or even if they go to a crowded place. The silence does not vanish once it is realized. As the silence is the substance underlying every entity, object, activity, or state. It just needs a bit of effort to connect with the stillness, as that's what we are in truth. We don't need to become stillness. We are stillness. There is no moment we are not still. The problem is that we do not realize that. We think we are a person and we set off to find stillness through spiritual practices. The most powerful of all methods is attention to our own self, our actual being. When one realizes the stillness, no need is felt to go to a particular environment to connect with stillness. However, then on the path to self, going to nature will indeed help the aspirant move forward. Thank you, everyone.